from freezing cold Charleston. It's almost Christmas, as you can see from our miniature Christmas tree. Now, um, <clears throat> today what we're gonna do is a comparative review of two sewing machines. If you saw our video on cushion making, we have had this Janome for five or six years and we have upscaled to a Sewerite. Now, we have been asked to review the Sewerite by Sewerite people and full disclosure here, they give us a discount on buying this if we review it for our website. So the review is gonna be objective though. There's no point in giving you a review that's just all gushing and like, oh, it's amazing, it's amazing, this does so many things. This is my objective review after having had this for three weeks, four weeks. So we did the cockpit cushions with this one and then got the Sourite and did the, the, the back of the canopy and the small cushions with this one. So I've got a good, a good way of comparing the two because I've used the same canvas, the same procedures to do two different things. So I'll talk you through this one, which is our old Janome, talk you through this one and then run through what I consider to be the pros and cons of both. Good, so this is our little Janome. Now, when we set off, we had to be fairly judicious with the amount of things that we kept and that we didn't take. We have a storage unit, we've got all our furniture from our house in there, but there's also things that we kind of thought, oh, should we take them? Is it gonna be just in a massive embuggerance to have it on board? Are we gonna get any use out of it? And the sewing machine was one of those things that we almost didn't bring in, almost got left by the dog. In fact, I think, Therese, you said to me, just leave it, we're never gonna use it. It is invaluable. I think that anyone that goes off long-term cruising, um, a sewing machine is really, really bloody useful to have, would you not say? Mm -hmm. um, when I bought this, I couldn't, I, I know, I'd never sewed or never used a sewing machine before. So it's not like I've kind of like done night classes in seamstressing. This came from scratch. You learn through YouTube, through YouTube videos, and you learn the hard way by making loads of mistakes and sewing your fingers up and screaming at it and understanding certain things. Anyway, this is the little genome that we have have just to do some boring bits it is about it is 15 inches by 12 inches and weighs about 10 kilos and the reason this is about the standard size for a little sewing machine when I bought it I went to the shop into the department store and said I want something that's going to basically be able to sew like heavy cloth Denim, and they said, well, you need something that can sew denim. So this is what I got. Anyway, it is a very basic sewing machine, cost a couple of hundred quid, so probably a couple of hundred dollars, two, three hundred dollars in today's money. It does all, just this, nothing fancy, but it does different stitching, forward, reverse, and yeah, it, it works fine. The problem is it's not happy doing certain jobs and the thicker the material the more layers that you have to sew the more it struggles and it groans it groans and sometimes i have to use the hand wheel just to get it to it just it's the motor is not strong enough it doesn't have enough torque to go through multiple layers so teresa has had to sit through me literally coaxing it swearing at it believing that it's some sort of sentient being and is listening to me but while i threatened to throw it overboard and so when it came to moving forward we were offered um, this Sourite at a discounted price. I said, fine, well, we, were, we always talked about it. It was the cost that put, it, that put me off it um, and also the relative size. Those were the two things that put us off. But so this we've used for years. It is brilliant, love it, but it can't handle, it doesn't like canvas work. It doesn't like multiple layers of canvas. It doesn't like the plastic for the windows, but for, Clothes, actually, for do, sewing clothes, if you are trying to alter clothes or doing something which involves small amounts of work, this is better, <clears throat> sorry, than the sewing right. So <clears throat> just a little bit about our previous sewing machine. So we come from a little bit of sewing history. So a quick unveil, this is the case the sewing right comes in. It looks like it should really hold like Jimi Hendrix's amplifier set. It's a big reinforced box. It is probably twice the size of the previous, of the little Janome and it weighs, I don't know, I don't know what I reckon it weighs, but 20 kilos, or I reckon 20 kilos. 
uh, about 40 pounds. So it's a heavy lump. And every time I lift it up onto the bench, my back, you know, I'm like, Christ, I can hear my discs groaning. Anyway, quick unveil, and then we'll get onto having a chat about it. So, ta-da! There we go. So this is the beast. It is uh, a fantastically well-engineered piece of kit. It is, it's, it's chunky. It comes, I believe, in four incarnations of which you can have either 220 or 110 volt because we were two we were in European boat we actually have the Europe the 220 version of this so I believe that there is the red version and there is the blue version the blue version I think the, the only difference is the blue version does straight and zigzag stitches the red version does just straight stitches no zigzags and there are two confectionaries one is the kind of like the basic version and then there's a premium version that comes with all sorts of other accessories that that you may or may not need so been using it for a while it has basic controls it does everything a sewing machine should do and realistically i am very pleased with it i am very pleased with it but it is basic. Do not think if you come from a sewing machine that is gonna that's had some bells and whistles on it that you are gonna find anything but real basic controls on this. Like for instance, this is the stick. This is the the forward reverse lever. It actually looks like like this like the, the forward reverse lever on a steam engine. There's not a lot to it, but really happy with it. So. You will have seen the videos of us making cockpit cushions. We made the back of the the three panels on the back of the Bimini um, to make a cockpit enclosure using this one. Now the Bimini enclosure is seven panels. The first five, sorry, hang on, my maths is pissed. But I've made three panels and there are five more, so that's eight. So the first five I did on the little Janome, the last three I did on this this breathes through it absolutely breathes through it so it is so talky it has so much power it would probably just i'm not i reckon if i put this in if i put this under the tread foot it would sew through this it would sew through wood it is terrifyingly powerful i don't think there is anything it wouldn't sew through and really um I would recommend that if you are buying it, buy the one that does the zigzags, the blue one, because at some point, the reason we have this is that at some point I will need to repair or fix sails and you need a zigzag stitch to kind of sew Dacron. It makes it stronger. So that would be my suggestion that the blue version for anything boaty is preferable to the red version. If anyone tells me that the red version is has differences that I'm unaware of, let me know. So really powerful really amazing motor very happy with it however there are some things that i am kind of it's a little bit flawed and i'm going to put across what i believe the flaws are just so that you have a good idea of whether you want to buy one of these or not so we bought the the big the, the, the deluxe version, which comes with loads and loads and loads of accessories. And the accessories are brilliant. It comes first with this massive metal flywheel, which gives you even more torque, because it's like, it, this weighs like five kilos. The other thing is this, which is a magnetic bar, because the, the sewing machine is made of metal, you put the bar in position, and it means that you sew straight, which for me is brilliant, because my sewing is completely pissed. It's like a drunk man walking home. The other thing it comes with is a light and loads of other bits and bobs. However, while the sewing machine is an amazing piece of kit, I have a slight issue with the accessories. And while I have no problem paying for the accessories, I just think that it is they are almost like an afterthought to essentially what is a really amazing product. Let me explain. There are little things. It's kind of intelligent design and I don't get it. So this is the light that comes with the with this machine. Now, my Janome has got an integrated light into it. It's got a little LED in there. This thing just sticks on like this. It's clumsy and it's not particularly well made. The plastic looks fairly cheap, but it's adjustable. But again, I kind of, that's a forgivable thing. The thing that really annoys me about this is that it comes on a separate plug. So you have two plugs. You now need to find a separate socket for the light which I get, but you know, 
you also need a socket for the power for the sewing machine. Why not just wire this into that? It would literally not take it just takes a little bit of afterthought to put a light into it. You have to have a light with a sewing machine. You can't not have one, especially if you're on a boat and especially it's not always going to be bright. So this light is a real, I have a real issue with the light. It kind of like, I know I'm being a little bit fastidious. A sewing machine should have a light built into it. And this is an afterthought, which I am not happy with, especially now I need to find a second plug socket. So that's my first problem with it. The second thing I have is that some of the accessories are not particularly well made. So let me just, okay. There is a, what's called a deluxe bracket for this your, to hold your spools. So the spool is held this way and it threads through. It broke in about 10 seconds. This, it just snapped. So again, it's a cheap product and it doesn't really kind of fit in with the quality of this sewing machine. So what I would say is that the sewing machine is amazing. It is amazing. I have no problem with it. I think it's a fantastic piece of kit. In conclusion, I would probably say that if this is, if my little Janome were a Ford car, like a little Ford, what's a little mini Ford car? Like a Ford Focus or whatever, like a little mid-size family compact car or whatever. <laughs> this metaphor is getting yeah. specific. This thing is like a 19th century steam engine. It is, there are, there are, it's no frills, but it is massively robust and very, very strong. They could make the perfect sewing machine if they made Sailrite 1.1. And though that would involve just making some minor modifications to the actual chassis of this so that the accessories didn't look so cheap, the light was integrated and other little things that my Janome has, which don't seem to really add a great amount of problems to, to the, to the Janome. For instance, it has a, a, a needle threader, like a little thing that you clip down for. So it's basic, but amazing. So if you ask me for a conclusion on this, would I have one for a boat? Absolutely. Do I think it's the most amazing sewing machine for boat work? Absolutely. It is. But if you are, say, for instance, going to be doing 50% of your work on, you know, clothing, then I think you'd probably consider it another machine. But this thing, yeah, fantastic piece of kit. Really, really happy with it. Thank you again to Sailrite. I think, it, yeah, it honestly, would get one again. Definitely would get one. Um, just hope that they take on board some of the kind of considerations about integrating a light, which I think is probably my only gripe about it. Um, and be aware that if you are on a small boat, you have got to store this thing. And we have found the place to store it, but we have to take it apart and kind of take the case away from it and put one case to one place, one another part and the, the body of the sewing machine in another place. So very happy with it. Um, ha would happily recommend it but only if you intend to do some serious canvas work there you go so that's our objective and true review of the sailrite lz1 or whatever it's called um hope you enjoyed it please feel free to subscribe there there will be links to social media there that's the facebook bit everything else is down below we'll also put a link to sailrite down below they are amazing and it is kind of a bit of a situation where you don't need the sewing machine but they have as i said in one of my videos before some very very good instructional videos the problem with canvas work is i'm going to go on a little bit of a rant now <laughs> It depends how amazing you want your canvas work to be. Obviously, I've been doing this for a couple of years now, on and off, but the videos, if you, fo if you have the patience to follow the videos, there is no reason why you can't do canvas work yourself. We, got a, we actually have got a quote, right? I wanted, I'm not gonna mention the names. I wanted to get the Bimini, there's the cockpit tent for the Bimini made. And I actually contacted the company that made it and said, can you just send me the, you know, any chance you could send me the, 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 the PDF of the plans? Like, I don't mind contributing to it. They sent back, yeah, we can send you the, we can send you the plans. It's 500 quid, which is $700. And I'm like, 500 quid, what are you nuts? Anyways, I think that, you know, we found some of our friends in, in the Caribbean had a set of cockpit cushions made and they were what, 500 quid? $500. $500. And they were rubbish. 
They were absolutely rubbish. I'm like, really? You paid $500 for that? They must have seen you coming. So I think that, especially if you're in the mainland US where you can get good quality Sunbrella for very, very little, I would happily suggest following these videos and do the work yourself. I think really for the foam, the piping, and the Sunbrella, I think we probably spent about under $200 on everything. And it would have been like $1,000 if I'd gone to a sale maker here. So take the punt. It, would, it took me a day, uh, a cushion. Um, give, give these projects a go. I think that, you know, anyone who aspires or wants to or is in the process of becoming a, like a, a sailor, wants to circumnavigate, wants to do like long offshore passages or live a, a, a life afloat or in a marina as we are at the moment. It is really good. It's a good feather for your bow. A good to, string to your bow. String to your bow. Feather for your arrow. A good. I think it's a feather for your hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mixing my metaphors. It's a good otter for your for your sty. <laughs> what are you laughing about? It's a good otter for your sty. Yeah. What's a sty? It's a piglet. Oh, I thought you meant like a star in your eye. Why would you have an otter in your eye? What's wrong with you? <laughs> How do we get into this? I have no idea. Anyway, uh, so I would try your hand. I really would try your hand at saying some basic things. Will you stop laughing at what is wrong with you? <laughs> Sorry. I just don't know how your brain works sometimes. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, continue, I... don't mind me. <clears throat> you hear me calm? Mm hmm. Anyways, so yeah, I, I definitely if you if you've got the space, the money, get one of these. But get yourself a sewing machine if you intend to live offshore for a bit, even if it's just doing basic repairs to things. Like for instance, zips always the stitching always goes on zips on canvas work all the time. I, there's a chap on the in the, in the marina who's like, I've been quoted one hundred and fifty dollars to just to stitch my zips. It, and I'm like, just give me just give me a canvas. I must have spent, what, five minutes doing it? Just run two stitches up it, job done. I don't think that you even have to be thinking about doing any sailing to justify learning to sew, like just living on a boat. There's so much that needs repairing. Absolutely, and you know, most people in marinas, they're either planning on setting off, or they're gonna set off, or they've set off. And canvas work is something you, you have to have. Essentially, to, for a sailboat to work, you kind of need a boat and sails. I mean, that's. There's the two parts of the word sailboat, boat and sails. And those sails need maintenance, as does all the other stuff. So yeah, brilliant piece of kit, digressed a little bit. Um, very, very happy with it. Wish it had some features that our Janome does, but really splitting hairs on this. One final thing, if I get jarred with it, it will make an amazing, amazing anchor. I will just attach 10 mil galvanized chain to it and use it as a spare anchor because it will keep the boat through all sorts of storms. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Um, whoever didn't ask, the tattoo is real. Someone said it, I washed it off. It's just that we kind of filmed one before I had the tattoo. Anyway, <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Bye.